This is testimony from the border with another story concerning Israel and what they are doing. This is as you see from the Times of Israel. This is from them. This is just a headline. This is their story. We understand different countries will report different stories. So let's come from them. We're going to come from them and then we're going to call this like we see it. It says images of stripped bound Gazians promote concern. Israeli official won't happen anymore. Okay. So basically they shame the men and their way of shaming the men is make them strip down. Now their story is this is their story. They wanted to check to see if they had any bombs on them. They was checking just to see what was, was anything strapped to them that can cause harm to the soldiers. Okay. All right. That's what they said. Let's read it. IDF says terror suspects searched to ensure they're not wearing explosive belts. This is coming from them. This is their story. But we can see through their story, but that it hasn't distributed pictures. There's who put the pictures out? Who took the pictures? Just questions. They're not answering these questions. Who took these pictures? They make it seem and sound as if another person just took these pictures. You know, they from Palestine. They Gazans. They took the pictures and uploaded the pictures online. No, these troops, common sense kicking in now. These troops, Israeli troops took these pictures. We saw what they did, videos. You may or may not have seen videos. They bombed homes, people gone. The Israeli soldiers was out there riding the kids' bicycles, having fun, laughing, it was disgusting. I've never seen something so disgusting before in my life. National Security Advisor. Um, they serve nobody's interest. This is what they're saying. Someone else took these pictures. We didn't put these pictures up. Again, this was their way of shaming them. Now. I don't want to show the pictures too too long because they're in their underwears. If you know anything about the Muslim world, they they believe in decency, being covered, and they're uncovering them for the world to see their nakedness. Horrible. And so this will outrage. This will outrage the people over here in this area to treat them this way. If, if there was some type of an explosive vest or something, all right, this is common sense. We common sense kicking in once again. If there was some type of explosive belt, some type of explosive strapped around them, once they strip them, put the clothes back on. Here, here, okay, we checked. Put your clothes back on. No, they kept them stripped. There were pictures of them sitting on the ground in their underwear. And the men, the soldiers walk, walking, standing over them. So, of course, this is something else that will cause outrage among the people. And again, Israel committing more crimes, making the world angry, making them Force making them, they're going to cause the people, force the people to unite and work together to fight against them. All this stuff will catch up. It will catch up on them. Our parents taught us when we were growing up, do as, do as unto others as you would have them do unto you. <laughs> And it's amazing. Some of the things that we learned is correct. This is testimony from the border.